So, Bub, you know, we're, we're hearing like this, what is this, pad stems or something, and some kind of vegetation, dude. This thing is insane. I mean, how'd you figure this deal out? The, <laughs> this is a crazy thing. So, all my board trial and error, um, I always, I mean, every time you roll into a situation like this, you want to throw a chatterbait. Chatterbait was a big bait. It won tons of money. Uh, when Brian Thrift was a co-angler, he came about just crushing everything, and then every pro was throwing it, and every pro was whacking them on it. But it has a lot of flaws. It's, it's not weedless. It doesn't come through grass. It has a snap. It has a blade. It has a lot of things that don't allow it to be weedless or fishable in, in every situation. So by rigging it up like this, uh, you can literally reel it through anything. And, I, and these are pad stems a lot of places in the country in the wintertime. I, this is dead of winter. And basically, this thing will come through anything. I know pad stems you got in a lot of different states, um, different kinds of grasses. But I basically made it so I could go through the delta and fish this down the bank and never pick up another rod. And the ability to throw it up in the shoreline grass and that thick stuff on the bank and just hop it through that, you know, that's kind of Okeechobee style, really shallow. And then the ability to crash it in the grass and then just kind of twitch your rod and it comes through clean every time. That's for the delta because you have to cover so many miles of grassy shoreline and grassy flats, grassy weed beds. You're never going to be in a perfectly clean place where your bait can swim perfect and it can just... There's, n there's no situation like that. Situations are grassy. They're, they're, usually the grass is so thick you can't even use your trolling motor. So that's why this bait was born. It, it was out of necessity basically, kind of like the punch skirt and everything else we make something to allow you to fish this cover more effectively with all the baits you want and again i mean it it can look like anything you want it to depending on how you rig it i know jared likes creature baits when he gets around big bigger bass and bigger largemouth he likes to throw a creature bait and something with some bulk um, a lot of guys that fish this with the skirt they like the the paddle tail style swim bait you know because it's kind of shaddy or bluegill and it gives it a little more action so again a million different uses. I'm excited about everybody, you know, writing me and calling me and telling me how they fish it, um, putting their pictures up on our website, showing off those toads that they catch. Again, unbelievable product, the nose job. It'll change anything you put it on. Oh God! He's on! He's on! He's on! on. Got him! On the rig? On the bum on the rig? On the rig? Dude, Dude apparently you got to be an elite pro. Yeah. Look at that. All that's sizes not the biggest it. one, but dude, that's the new B rig. 49 degree water, by that the way. That one ate it. The other one's missed it. 49 degree water. But that's what it is, dude. That B rig. You're just a little guy. But that's what it is. Bub, you want to tell me more about this deal? I mean, we. You know, this is the first time I've ever thrown it like this, and I, it's it works better, I think, in a. Then you know the great jig it just goes right through that stuff you the crazy snag. part is is you can put any trailer on it you know I, I don't i'm not sure what trailer that is but it works obviously any trailer yes. you put on it will Swim work bait. soft plastic any and i think really it's unlimited i think you put craws on it creature baits i've swam a tube on it it looks unbelievable and again you can change the weight size clack that and, and make that sound that's it it sounds uh, you know really loud coming through the water there's a lot of turbulence i mean it, it's a really cool rig and it's weedless you can throw it through the shore grass wood uh reeds tules if you get some slime on it you can actually rip your rod and actually rip it through there where vibrating jigs roll over and they have an open hook and they snag everything so it's a it's a tremendously versatile product and i hope you guys come up with a bunch of ways to whack them on your tour yeah i mean you know when you first gave me these nose jobs i was just throwing it you know, with a with a creature bait behind it, without the weight on it. That was, that was the original first way I threw it, and uh, I caught several nice bass at Clear Lake on it. But this here is a quarter ounce. I think you got one rigged up in the bluegill looking color with a three eighths. With a three eighths, you know, to get it down just a little bit deeper in that grass. You know, fishing around this deeper wood and stuff. But and again, I'm using tungsten to make it smaller, uh, a little bit more compact. A lot of guys have tried rattling bullet weights. They make even more sound, so if you have a rattling bullet weight you're, you like, um, always throw the biggest hook you can. You know, they're eating this rig and they eat it hard, so put a five or a six-aught hook, you know, always in your, in your bait so you can get good exposure. I like the EWG style hook for this. It's got a lot wider gap. It hooks up. You don't have to jerk as hard. You just kind of use the good pressure, and if they get it, you know, usually they're hooked. So try the nose job. Unbelievable product from Paycheck Baits, and I want to see your rig, see what you can come up with. So I want to run through how I got this thing rigged up just so you guys know how I'm rigging it. Again, there's no rules to this and I want you guys to play with it and experiment as much as you can. But I got a, a punch stop, slid up my line. 
I slide a bullet weight on. That's a 3 8 ounce tungsten bullet weight. I slide the nose job on, cup facing forward so it can scoop the water. I slide on my Paycheck Baits punch skirt, any color I want, based on the trailer or the conditions or whatever I'm faced with. And I always tie on a five or a six odd hook. You notice that's a Gamagatsu six odd hook. And I've taken a Paycheck Baits punch barb and I've melted that barb to that hook. What that allows me to do is use an offset shank hook with a wide gap, and this is an extra wide gap hook, allows me to have a better hook set and a better, better hookup with the fish. And it uh, keeps my bait up as if it was glued to this hook. Now I'm going to show you how I rig my bait. Any soft plastic is going to work. I love the paddle tail swim baits and I love the creature baits. Creature baits come through the, the cover so good. This ultra vibe speed cross swims really well. But when you Texas rig your bait, again, that paycheck baits punch barb is going to lock that bait on. It's never going to slide down no matter what kind of cover you rip it through. Texas rig your bait on there. Now you got all, nothing but gap to get hooked in their jaw. Slide it all down, push your punch stop down. That's what keeps it in play. Cast this in anything you want, and I mean anything. And I'm going to show you in a few minutes me reeling it through some of the craziest, thickest stuff you can imagine, and it comes through clean every time. This is the new vibrating jig. Trust me, you want to have it tied on. This thing will come through any type of vegetation you want it to come through, any wood, any kind of shrapnel that's out in the water. You get hung up on something, you just switch your rod tip. Now again, you're going to be throwing this bait, and if you see where I'm throwing it, if you hook a giant bass back in there, you got to have some power to get him out. So again, equipment-wise, I like a 7 to a 7.5 foot rod, heavy action. I'm throwing 20 pound line. Most of the time I'm throwing braid. If I'm, this water's a little bit clear today, so I thought I'd put on mono. But again, braided line is almost a must. It's just like frog fishing or, or the soft plastic frogs that you reel so fast on the water. You have to have the braided line, you have to have the heavy rod to get them out of the cover. If you're fishing it in open water, or skipping it around docks, you can obviously go lighter on the rod and reel and the line. But if you're fishing around the heavy cover, don't get your heart broke. Put it on braid, put it on a flipping stick, and, and be ready for a big one to eat it. There's nothing small gonna eat this bait. And especially where you're throwing it and what it looks like coming through that stuff, big ones are gonna come get that. I don't know of any vibrating jig on the market that you can throw through any cover, surface or submergent. Get it through weedless every time. Work it from the top water down to the bottom of the water column. I mean, this is the new rig. So please, please tie one on.